Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. There you go. How's that? 1647. Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Nice double feed. <laughs> Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Well, this isn't the one. <laughs> Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Your indicates ready. Stand by. How was that? That might have been better. Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. That was very bad. <clears throat> Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Hold. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by.
Clear. Slide down. Hammer down. Holster. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Consistency is what we like to see. I saw it that time. I was about Okay, to recap our practice session and look at scores. Stages this morning were all designed for practicing shooting while moving. My first run of stage one was pretty fast, smooth, and clean with good hits and no penalties. It was a really good way to start the morning. Run two was a little faster, but I got sloppy with my hits ending up with one miss and a slightly lower score. Run three started off fine, but ended pretty poorly. I missed one shot on one of the steel plates, which forced me into an extra reload, and this ended up presenting me with a nasty double feed jam to clear. Run 4 was very similar to Run 2 in time, points, penalties, and score. On to Stage 2. My first run of Stage 2 was sloppy and slow with two miss-slash-no-shoot penalties, and I had to do an extra reload due to missing a steal. Run 2 was a lot better, but I again had two miss-slash-no-shoot penalties. Run 3 was a little faster than 2, better hits, and only a single no-shoot penalty. Run 4, however, was my very best of the morning. It was fast, I had good hits, no penalties, it felt really good, and may have been my highest points per second on a stage ever. Stage 3 was a little different. We ran it in three different ways with three different sets of rules. For the first run, we were required to finish with the right-hand targets. I dove straight in without a solid plan of attack, and this showed in the results. Slow, with two misses and one no-shoot penalty. In run two, we had to shoot it in reverse, that is, finish with the left-hand targets. At least I had a plan by then and improved my time and hits. In runs three and four, we were required to clear the center area before engaging the outer targets. I shot both of those runs very similarly, getting almost the same time and repeating the exact same miss-slash-no-shoot penalty both times. That's what my friend was talking about at the end of that fourth run. Overall, we had a really safe, fruitful, and awesome time practicing this morning.